YouTube, it's Brian Phillips here. Flying the Consendo, Consendo Advanced. This is Esteban's beauty. I'm gonna be flying my non-advanced one shortly as a comparison. We're gonna do a 1300 milliamp 3S 45 through 90C nanotech with an XT60, not that it matters. Safe select is on. This is how you tell, guys. Watch for the dance. See that? When you go past the halfway point, it's gonna to try to find home. When it's off, it won't do that, okay? So I'm launching it with it off. Throttle cuts off. There's 3S Ooh. magic. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. Like good. That's like a lot of power. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh yeah, I like the noise. Okay, let's go up here and do some twiddling and spinning. Okay, so we adjusted the control horns, guys. The control horns, by factory default, are supposed to be in some other hole configuration. We pretty much have them all on the outside, or the most inside hole, which is gonna give us a maximum control authority. Look at that stall turn, beautiful, right? Doesn't have a really great roll rate, but it's a really good flying plane. It's actually a fairly quiet plane compared to... I'm hoping you can pick that up in the video. You I think did. they will? I did. The swoosh that you get from oh, some of the sailplanes. I see. I yep. doubt you're going to pick it up. Maybe not. I just love the noise. Sounds cool. I like it. Okay, so full elevator. Just to show you how tight she'll turn. That's full throttle, full elevator, and then safe. Okay, out of safe, back to normal, high speed pass, just gliding. Look at that tractoring prop. I hate it when they do that, guys. That means that the braking is insufficient with a certain, uh, a certain angle. So I got throttle all the way down here. It stopped that time. If you ever see your tractoring prop like that, guys, your glider is gonna glide severely deficient. Okay, here we go. We'll come out of it at the same angle, all the way down, sticks all the way down for throttle. Whoa, nice, <laughs> nice. Close. So just to be nice. clear, guys, on 3S, this plane in the Concendo S has a plastic motor mount. That's the holdup. It also has an 18 amp ESC as opposed to a 45 amp ESC. The rest of the power system is exactly the same. Same prop, same spinner, and then of course you've got the metal motor mount, okay? Metal motor mount is what would, the Concendo S would melt. On the advanced, you have a metal mount and the bigger ESC. You can go stock with your Concendo S right now and you can fly 3S, but you will melt your motor mount after a flight or so, depending on how aggressive your C rating is. This plane would slope gloriously. But one thing you'll want to watch for is how the heck are you going to land it? Because this thing will just go and go and go and go. I'm out of the throttle altogether here. Just to show you the efficiency here. We've got a little bit of light wind. I'm going to see if I can do some dynamic soaring over this hill or over this uh, tree, tree bank here. Still out of the throttle. Getting a, not enough lift probably, unfortunately. You need a bigger tree line probably. We'll see if we can kick into some lift here. Nah, not gonna get it. With the wind here. I don't wanna give Esteban a heart attack with this brand new plane. Please don't. He may get kicked out of the house if he crashes it, so I gotta be careful. Because I don't need a Esteban in my basement with all my airplanes. They might go missing. <laughs> we 
Did we put a voltage alarm on here? I did. You did? Yeah. It's fast. Yeah, going with the wind. And by the way, that's not completely with the wind. This is really the direction of wind right now. I'm flying into it right now, okay? It's got good power now. Okay, now I'll go totally with the wind. You ready? I'm gonna go over your left. Didn't quite have enough juice to continue that all the way over without throttle. I was hoping to do that all dead stick. Okay, get a little bit of speed going downhill and then out. See that? Tractoring prop, guys. Might want to check our ranges on throttle, make sure we don't have something set wrong. Oh, upside down flight. Upside down. It flies really easy upside down, guys. Really easy. All right, here we go. High speed. How you feel about that, Espan? Looks good. It looks good. One thing you got to remember, you get a Horizon Hobby plane, you guys saw how long it took us to get this in the air. We had this, I mean, well, unboxed from the the shipping box was 10 minutes probably for Esteban. And then when he brought it over to the house, we had this thing in the air within an hour and 10 minutes total. And the only thing we haven't done is right there, guys. You see those? There's supposed to be a little triangular stickers on the bottom of the wing, but Esteban neglected his RC buddy probably for some dumb reason like doing you know his what his wife said. To be honest, I don't like the shape of the triangles. He doesn't like the shape of triangles. Do you hear this? He's triangleist. Are you a triangleist? Esteban? What does that even mean? It means it's like being racist except triangleist. Oh, okay. I'm a Are you shapist? Geometry racist. <laughs> <laughs> don't like shapes. Okay, finally you guys know now. Now you know the truth about Esteban. All right, here we go. Let's try stall turn. Not gonna work. AS3X is great, guys. It works really nice. There are moments when you kind of wish it would just back off so you could do a beautiful stall turn without any help. All right, try to stay. Are you getting a few nervous? inches above from the ground? Oh, you want to be a few inches? That would be nice. See, now he's getting picky. All right. Let's, let's do an approach landing. Let's do uh, an approach. Do you want to do an approach? There. Yeah. Okay, we got two minutes and uh, 30 seconds left on our timer. Do you want to try to do it in the grass? Yes. <laughs> grass okay so like right in front of us over here yeah so I'm gonna try to slip guys full rudder not, not gonna be able to land it that way <laughs> that way I got the wind to help slow us down okay sounds good okay so what I'm gonna do is full good idea rudder. you guys see me kicking it full rudder and I'm gonna slip I'm gonna keep it nice and level a little bit of elevator and then put it down. Okay, so the whole idea is when you're coming into land, if you put that rudder all the way over, okay, all the way over, use your ailerons to keep it level, you will bleed off some energy without completely losing control. Okay. All right, we are gonna stop the video and we're gonna switch to the non-advanced Concendo S. All right, guys, so we're here with the non-advanced Concendo, except mine has flaps, which is awesome. There's videos on how to do this. Stock AS3X receiver, the AR6306A, I think. Throttle cuts off. I'll do a no-throttle launch 
just for excitement. This is on 2S, okay? I wanna show you the limited vertical, okay? There's your limited vertical. That is a stock E-Flight pack, except that I have an XT60 on it. Now this plane is a little bit heavier than Esteban's, but I want you to understand it still has the full safe. Here's full flaps, slowing down, coming downhill. Still flyable. 18 amp ESC, gets a little pissed off sometimes. Definitely looks a little bit more tame. Okay, we'll just tip it over here. I have taken this thing slope soaring on numerous slopes. When I say numerous, I mean like three. Hey, quit walking away from me, camera crew. But the thing I love about this plane is it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And I'm not talking about unlimited vertical. I don't really care about that in a glider. It's nice. What I care about is lightness, easy to assemble, slopeability, firmness of carbon fiber joiner, I care about flaps, crow, things like this. I can't do crow on this because of the, uh, with the stock receiver at least. But I do have flaps. So watch this, full downhill drive, watch this. Not slowing down, but I was going straight downhill too. Okay, into the throttle, just to show you how slow you can go. And yes, I do catch this plane. Some guys will catch them stock, which I'm just not that good of a pilot. And yes, I have crashed into a building with this before. So to give you an idea, I ran into one of our sites. They have a little shelter and I wanted to fly through the shelter. And uh, let's just say I didn't fly through it. I flew into it. And that cloud up there just makes me want to thermal. I have thermaled with this plane one time. I'm not an amazingly, wow, looks like I'm catching some thermal there. You know how I can tell? Because oh. I'm out of the throttle and I'm still going up. Oh, nice. Not very much though. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to tell because uh, even though you might catch just a little bit of lift, you're not actually going to be able to sustain the lift because eventually you'll just get into a stall condition. But then I can put on my takeoff flaps and stay right into the spot where the thermal's happening. Of course, I don't think there is an actual thermal there. I don't know, the Consendo Advance is looking pretty good now. The other, the other thing that's going for it is that you can actually buy it, you can't buy this. So I guess it's kind of like comparing my usual discontinued stuff to what's available. Here we go, right in front of you, you ready? Did you like that Esteban? <laughs> I was like, it's like limbo, limbo dancing. I want to fly under that tree so bad. You think I can do it? Now you can do it. You're flying your plane. With my plane? Yeah. I don't know. I'd really Go prefer to it. do it with your plane. See, that's what I'm talking about, guys. The confidence that that thing will keep flying. That was a that was a fairly uh, loose maneuver. You know what? I'm just glad that I have one now because it was kind of a painful experience the last time I crashed it. I know, it was for me too. 
because I knew you weren't going to tolerate Korea fixing it again. And at the time, they were not selling the Consendo ATMs. And I know. this one had been discontinued, so I didn't have the option of buying it. Which is a sad state of affairs. By the way, if you guys are really wanting a plane that's discontinued, I have to tell you, if you go to your local hobby town or whatever local hobby shop you've got around, they will a lot of times be able to call up their buddies in another state and see if they inventory something. I've actually done that once and it worked gloriously. Or you can go to RC Groups. RC Groups has a swap meet. You can go there and try to get stuff. Um, usually people are pretty fair, but every once in a while you get somebody that's just like, oh, it's discontinued, you'll never be able to buy it. I'm gonna sell it for 400 bucks. And you're like, but it was 100 bucks new. So you have to kind of put up with that a little bit if you really want it. But then Horizon has been in this kick where they're gonna release all the crap that they should have never discontinued in the first place. And uh, a lot of times they're re releasing them under the Force RC name without an AR-636 now, which I think is kind of lame -o. Cause if I wanted a plug and fly, then I guess I like that they offer it. I just, I like the AR-636 and I'm way too cheap to go buy one. So if you guys want your radio gear in my plane, you're gonna have to opt in and buy a different kind. So the moral of the story of today is the advance is good and the Consendo S is awesome. Wait, is that? I don't know if the, the video is going to support that. The advanced is pretty good. <laughs> but the thing is, you don't have flaps, guys. Let's show them why you want flaps. Let's just land it in my hand. You ready? Stay back. Right there. Right there. You're good. Okay, so coming in, toggling between takeoff and landing at the last second. We'll just catch it. And that's why I like having flaps. I'm not an ace veteran pilot. Some of you guys can catch them bind and fly straight out of the box not this guy go buy one check the link in the description below advanced is good s is even gooder so what we don't were need no what were you thinking about doing brian i'm thinking about doing something stupid all right uh -oh. oh on low voltage too okay all right guys we're gonna try to fly through that hole in that tree all right here we go we don't know if it's gonna work, guys. We're gonna try our best. Oh, that was so lame and easy. <laughs> you did it! That was so awesome. Guys! Oh, that was so cool! Alright, right in front of us. Low speed pass. All right, that, that was pretty cool. You wanna see it again, folks? This is this looks seems underwhelming now for some reason. Probably because I feel like, hey, we've already proven it can be done. All right, I'm gonna turn around, then I'll come back through. You ready? Okay, there we go. All right, guys, I touched no the grass. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, baby! Oh, Who needs nice. a dance? That is awesome. Did you get it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>